Hello everybody, this is Tim, and uh, some people have been asking me for an update for this year's GASP convention, uh, GASP con, that's what it's called, and uh, I figured I wanted to wait until there was a time where people could sign up for games and they can kind of see what's on the schedule. Uh, the schedule is still a little bit light in that the RPGA hasn't stepped up and uh, put forth what modules are going to run, and I believe there's going to be some Pathfinder Society modules that are going to be run. That's kind of similar to organized play like RPGA, but using the Pathfinder system. But basically, this is a gaming convention in Pittsburgh, and it's held in November, and it's three days. It was two days for several years, and uh, I think it was last year it went up to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because the uh, attendance has been slowly getting better, and the con was able to afford the cost of basically you know renting out the top floor of the Best Western Hotel. But I just want to go through and, I don't know, just let everyone know that you can sign up for events. I'm going to put some links down on the bottom of the page to register and uh, go through, like, the Warhorn. It's basically Warhorn, Warhorn.net is where it, uh, they, they use, and there's, like, a, a link for the GaspCon. I think we're up to 11 this year, the different conventions. But I just kind of want to go through. There's, like, you know, fourth edition stuff. I'm going to be running, like, six events. <laughs> um I'm running little. Well, I'll just go through the schedule here. Um, there's like Little Fear, Spellcraft and Swordplay, Star Wars Saga Edition, Supernatural. That's usually that's on Friday. Um, Saturday, Call of Cthulhu, Hero System. Um, I'm running Labyrinth Lord. Uh, there's Lady Blackbird, which is kind of a historical game. Uh, at least that's the way he's running it. Uh, Bloody Forks in the Ohio, it's called. Uh, there's another Star Wars, uh, Knights of the Old Republic. So that's Friday. And again, uh, this is subject to change, um, and they're going to hopefully get some more GM uh, GMs to step up and run some more games. Because sometimes games get added at the last minute, and like I said, the RPG and Pathfinder stuff will be added. Uh, Penny for My Thoughts, which is a story game. Castles and Crusades. Uh, huh, I'm not I'm not familiar with Cold City. It sounds like a, I think it's like a. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, Ganactagok, another story game. Uh, Hackmaster Basic. I'm just kind of going through and just seeing what systems are represented. Um, I'm going to do some a, a few BRP games. Uh, Morrow Project, Savage Worlds. I think it's a post-apocalyptic one he's running. Another Star Wars Saga Edition game. Uh, Steal Away Jordan, which is a, a game about slavery that uh, is a story game by um, one of my friends. Uh, I think uh, Wives, actually. Uh, made the game. Uh, Trinity, it looks like Alien vs. Predator. That might be kind of fun. And I believe Trinity was the White Wolf game. It was kind of like hero in sci-fi. Uh, Chronica Feudalis, uh, another hero system. Uh, Lamentations of the Flame Princess is making a, a splash here, which is kind of cool. I, I just changed my schedule around to be able to play in it. Um, the module is Death Frost Doom. Uh, Fifth World, that's another story game, but uh, one of the guys I know made it, so he likes to test it out. Over the last several years, he's been doing different things. I'm going to run Assassin X, which is a free uh, like serial killer game. <laughs> it's the game I talked about before where it's like the worst game I've ever run. <laughs> I really just, I don't draw any lines in the sand, I do whatever, I just go with the, the horrible flow of the game. And I think I can only run it once a year, because <laughs> I usually, I it's terrible. <laughs> terrible, but... Uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's beautiful and it's atrocity or something. Uh, Dread. It's a game with uh, the Jenga Tower. Uh, Purgatory Bleeds, which is another game a friend of mine main made. What else we got in here? More BRP, uh, fourth edition, uh, home game. Uh, Fiasco, which is a story game. Iron Kingdoms, D20, Mouse Guard. All right, this is all on Sunday. Uh, Barbarians, Lemuria. Actually, I, the guy that's running that, uh, he ran in several of my Barbarians Little Murray games, so he was excited by the system. Uh, I'm going to run Dogs in the Vineyard, another Hero System game, and How We Came to Live Here. Now, those are just some of the games that are on the schedule right now, and there will probably be more later, more RPGA stuff, like I said. But I'm kind of excited. That's going to be in November, and uh, hopefully running six games, and I think I'm going to be able to play in like three or four. won't completely destroy me over a three-day period. I know when I run that uh, Assassin X game, I'm running it from midnight to like 4 a.m. And then I have to come and play at like 9 in the morning the next day on Sunday. 
Sunday might be kind of rough. <laughs> I might uh, be pounding caffeine and feeling kind of loopy. But, I mean, that kind of goes without saying. If you go to a gaming convention, you're probably going to lose on sleep. I don't know if you guys can tell, but, uh, you know, I, got, I definitely got some dark rings under my eyes from uh, from Sipcon. Sipcon. But uh, if you're a player, you can sign up now and sign up for, for games that are on there. I made sure to get in the games that I wanted to. Um, I, I, I'm usually pretty... I, I like to watch out for that, so as soon as the... Uh, Kind of like the flag goes down, you know, like, oh, okay, I'll sign up for my games. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to run six events, and hopefully it goes well. If anybody has any questions or, or whatever, uh, feel free to get a hold of me. Throw the messages on, you know, my profile. All right, everybody, have a good one.